right and center to face the people who he has impoverished and oppressed and brought life for many years to fund campaigns. But he went, but went out, I mean, but he went on to send his uh, lieutenants, RDCs and ministers to hold rallies like you all saw. In our case, the COVID-19 pandemic was used as an excuse to clamp down on us. I survived three attempt on, attempts on my life while my comrades that I was with survived even many more. Some of our friends that I mentioned, like Frank Senteza, did not survive. But although we recently released the names of 19 people who we, ver who we verified to have been murdered by the regime during our campaign, we know that many, many more lives have been lost. And we continue to look out for them and their relatives, and we shall be communicating with them one. All of you remember that many people, including the celebrated music producer Dan Magic and many other comrades, sustained grave injuries. Two weeks, the date of voting, my entire campaign team was arrested and subjected to all manner of torture and humiliation before being thrown into a jail where they are languishing up to the present day. Nubian Lee, Eddie Mutwe, Dan Magic, Bobby Young, Sheriff Naja and many others are languishing in Chitaria prison simply for being on my campaign team. A few days ago, I had the opportunity of visiting those that are in Chitaria government prison and they spoke of how they were subjected to unimaginable humiliation and torture while at Kasaja Girwa military prison in Masaka. That was before they were transferred to marching a military prison and eventually Chitaria. They told me that before they were taken to Chitaria, they were taken through seven prisons. Seven. The election day itself was as absurd as the campaign. Scared to his skin, Museveni switched off the internet and ordered media houses not to cover or even declare results from the polling stations as they came in. The national election observers had already been thrown out of the country. Observers from the USA were denied accreditation. Neither the European Union or the Commonwealth observers were allowed to observe the election. Museveni knew clearly that if he had dared to invite them, he would uh, be exposed for who he really is, a shameless election pig. <laughs> Several foreign journalists were deported from Uganda, while many others were denied accreditation clear legal requirements. But even Ugandan journalists were required to have accreditation to cover elections, mm -hmm. which of course the High Court ruled as illegal, only that the order came in after the election had been finished. Very constitutional. With the state of affairs in 70, aided by Mr. Biabakam and the Electoral Commission and the military, had a field day. They rigged the election to unprecedented levels. This, like I've been saying, has been the most rigged election in the history of Uganda. One, how Museveni rigged the election. A reading of the election results shows that the Biabakama Commission rigged this election brainlessly. The reading was done in such an amateurish, an amateurish way that it does not require any sense of wisdom for anybody to understand it. A. Massive ballot stuffing. Firstly, in the most crude manner, General Museveni carried out so much ballot stuffing in very many districts across the country. The stuffing was mostly carried out by the military officers who were transported in military tra trucks from polling station to polling station, taking all the available ballot papers in favor of General Museveni. Mm -hmm. So that affidavits to that effect were rejected by Mr. Owini Doro, but we have the evidence right here. B, the results not entirely entered. Results from various polling stations were omitted in the final declaration. In the final declaration, uh, without any justification. And yet, they were duly filled and signed DR forms. We have them, they are present here. 
examples are uh, Banda Primary School, um, Base Camp Lower Market A to L, Base Camp Lower Market M to Z, Kampungu Primary School Township, Namandu Koyoyo, Namandu Koyoyo's home, Sailina Primary School A to K, Salu Salu. Yeah, Chisalu Salu in brackets K I T Muge in Chevando Vocational Training Trading Center in Chevando Progressive Primary School N to Z uh, Chidodo A to J Chikonjo and very many others. The affidavits to that effect, ladies and gentlemen, and all the evidence is present here with us now. See the deliberate reduction of my results. In very many cases, results declared by the Electoral Commission mm -hmm. indicate that I was given less votes than mm -hmm. I actually got, while General Seven was given many more votes mm -hmm. than he actually attained in the respective in the respective DR forms. This irregularity was evident in hundreds of polling stations, including Kapureka Compound, Guantaha One, Otuboy Primary School, Opilitok A primary school, Otuboy Township Primary School, Abinemi Mango Tree, Kachilo Primary School, Omodoi Primary School, Sangai PA Church PAG, um, Kalachi Primary School, Ipene Primary School, Kakisim Catholic Church, Okolai Primary School, Calvario Catholic Church, Opungure Primary School, Kagaga Primary School, Elef East Church, Jerusalem Worship Center, and Weza Primary School, and very many others. Those who have been following the going zone will remember that last week the Electoral Commission exposed itself when they put up a DR form from where my results were deliberately changed, reduced from 84 to 8 at Atiang Falling Station in Navy District. That fake declaration form was posted by the Electoral Commission. But here with us today, we have the original DR form, and this outright theft is very clear, ladies and gentlemen. D, the deliberate increase of General Seveni's results. At over 1,700 polling stations, 1,700 polling stations, Results from the Electoral Commission compared to the DR forms in our position indicate a deliberate intention to increase the results of Museveni unfairly in selected mm -hmm. polling stations. Just to give examples, General Museveni's results were increased mm -hmm. at Kera Primary School, at Wakaba Lower Petrol Station, at Mirizaku Tree, at Achutekum, at Hiriaburu Catholic Church, at Mahanga Primary School, at Muchomo Market Ground, at Chaputereka Catholic School, at Kawujan, Kawujani Primary School, and at Lango Operative Union Store. Conversely, results from the Electoral Commission compared to the DR forms in our position indicate deliberate effort to decrease my results unfairly in selected polling stations. For instance, in my tally, was in, sorry for instance my tally was this was decreased in the declared election uh electoral commission results for the following stations in visanje primary school in anyang in chinami playground in rwangunga catholic church in rock of ages in chitabo pentecostal church and in Usengere primary school a m e where the indicated results exceed the registered voters. At very many polling stations, ladies and gentlemen, the number of votes indicated on the DR form exceeded by far the total number of registered voters. This trend was widespread and to mention but a few, Ugula Primary School, a polling station, St. Jude polling station, and many others. F, 
100% voter Tana, as in all voters than that and voted. To understand how Museveni lacks any sense of shame, he claimed that at 408 polling stations, 100% of the registered voters, including the dead, turned up to vote. At many others, their claim was that the voter turn up was between 95 and 99%. It is not only impractical to make such a claim, but it's also unsmart and unwise. We have evidence that some of the registered voters at those polling stations were long dead and somehow Yavakama claimed that they resurrected and voted. I'll give a quick example. In Buyanja, at a village called Ruaweba, that is in my home in Gomba, we have relatives that live there. We know that seven of some of our relatives actually did not show up to vote because four of them had run off because they were being hunted. One had been arrested and two women were heavily pregnant. They never showed up to vote. They are registered voters in that polling station. However, Mr. Biavakama claims that 100% of the registered voters turned up and voted. We have evidences here. We have death certificates of people that we know that had died long before the election. We have evidence that those of our family members and relatives did not actually vote. We have their affidavits, and those are the affidavits that the Chief Justice, Mr. Winnie Dolo, rejected to take. G, wrong results and mismatch between Electoral Commission and the actual declaration of result forms. In some cases, the results declared by the Electoral Commission were entirely wrong compared to the corresponding declaration forms. For instance, in Budaka district at Nachiburu Old Court, N to Z, declaration forms indicate that I scored 106 votes and General Museveni 110 votes. But the Electoral Commission declared 127 for me and 137 for General Museveni. The same error was recorded in Nyarudea. Uh, playground in Kavira, in Katiti, and in Kalasa Secondary School. Um, it was declared also in front of Victoria's Primary School, Playground A to M, in Tabongo Trading Center, in, in, Ruteruga, in Ruterugara Playground, in Open Gate Trading Center, and Rubira Trading Center. It is therefore not clear where the Electoral Commission got the results they declared. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a list of the polling stations with irregularities is attached here. We are going to share that uh, mm -hmm. on the social media and we are going to give you copies, hard and soft. So knowing the kind of election fraud we had just committed, General Museveni quickly moved and put me under house arrest with hundreds of soldiers surrounding my home. And you all remember, this office, our head office, was surrounded. Having disabled our you vote app by switching off the internet, they knew we were still de determined to tally our results. So they immediately embarked on arresting and abducting our coordinators and other comrades, who we had sent to collect the declaration form from the field. Gordon Agawa, Natumanya Andrew were abducted from Jinda, detained, and thousands of declaration forms were confiscated from them. Oyech, Gerard, and other comrades who had collected forms from Northern Uganda were picked up from their hotel room and taken to a safe house, all over, where the forms were taken from them before they were released. Kajimu Umar, who does stationary work for us and had thousands of DR forms to make copies from was arrested from his workplace on Nasa Road by heavily armed military personnel. Another comrade who was kidnapped in Wandegea on his way to the Secretariat bringing 600 forms and all were taken away from him. Other persons were attacked from the distant districts 
on the orders of the RDCs and the bombs were taken away from them. In total, the bombs which were confiscated and never returned by the security agencies are 7,281. 7, there are a few bombs which the Directorate of Intelligence returned when we wrote to them demanding for the, for the bombs. All other forms have up to now not been returned. But in spite of the regime's disparate efforts to deprive us of the authentic declaration forms, we were able to have at least 25,034 DR forms out of the total of the 34,684 from polling stations nationwide. The DR forms which were stolen and are still in possession of the police and the military are 707,281. I'll say that again for clarity. 7,281. The DR forms which we are not able to collect, which we were not able to collect from the field were 2,396. And this means that the total number of the DR forms we currently don't have in our position are 9,677. 9, 9, For this, we rely on the Electoral Commission DR forms, even when we don't trust them. What do these DR forms say? That's a very important question. The DR forms prove that we won the election by 54.19%. I will say that again. The declaration forms that we were able to access in all different ways uh, indicate that we won the election by the by 54.19%, despite the massive ballot staffing and other forms of breeding. We therefore want to inform the nation that we won the, the January 14th uh, presidential election in this year. People power! Our power! Power, power. Our power. People power! Thank you. And congratulations. Now, because we were not declared as winners, we decided to petition the Supreme Court, the 2021 presidential election petition. On past February 2021, I filed in the Supreme Court of Uganda presidential election petition number one of 2021, Kakulanyi Senjamu Robert versus Yowe Museveni Kabuta Muhaburwa and the two others, challenging the purported election of Geno Museveni as the winner of the 2021 presidential election. My petition was premised on three grounds, namely, that there was no compliance with the relevant provisions of the law. The election was embodied on grounds that it was not conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in our constitution and the Presidential Election Act of, 20, of 2005 as amended, among other relevant laws, to the extent that, among others, one, the RDCs, as well as police and military officers, systematically blocked me without lawful justification from holding any presidential consultation in any part of Uganda, including Wachiso, Guru, Lira, Jumani, Jumbe, Arua, and Zombo. And they did this despite officially notifying the Electoral Commission on the 3rd of December 2019 that I intended to conduct consultation and despite the same being approved on 9th December 2019. Two, in June 2020, the Electoral Commission arbitrarily and illegally decreed campaign guidelines on General Museveni's orders without consulting other stakeholders. These guidelines ultimately hindered a free and fair campaign 
as they were selectively imposed against my supporters and me to the benefit and advantage of General Museveni. RDCs, as well as police officers and military officers, among other state actors, systematically blocked me from holding campaign meetings in over 60% of Uganda's districts and blocking me completely from even stepping foot in at least 30% of the districts. On 13th January 2021, Uganda Communications Commission ostensibly acting on the orders of the National Security Council with General Museveni chairs, ordered the service providers to switch off access to the internet and later mobile money services shortly before, during and after the day of the election, thereby impeding a uh, free flow of information among the voters as well as frustrating efforts to facilitate my polling agents. The Electoral Commission acted without transparency when it announced and declared provisional results of the 2021 presidential elections without declaration forms from the relevant polling station and tally sheets from the relevant district returning mm -hmm. officers, contrary to the law in a manner that cast doubt in the source and authenticity of the results. Final results later declared by the Electoral Commission were based on the tally, were based on tally sheets and DR forms bearing dates reading 18th January 2021, four days later than when they ought to have been conclusively there. At all material times while reading the provisional results, the National Tally Center was swarmed by Museveni's SFC presidential guards who wore Electoral Commission t-shirts and caps to disguise themselves. Mm -hmm. And they stood next to Mr. Yabakama, the Electoral Commission chairperson, as he read mm -hmm. the results. You all saw that. You even saw him stammer. <laughs> B, General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential office. I say that again. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential seat. Section 4 B of the Presidential Election Act of 2005 as amended disqualifies from the election for president a person holding or acting in an office the functions of which involve the responsibility go in connection with the conduct of an election. At the time of this of this nomination, General Museveni was holding the offices of the head of state, of the head of government, commander in chief, and chairperson of the National Security Council, which offices are required by law to ensure the equal protection of presidential candidates as well as adequate provision of security at the presidential candidates' campaign meetings. As the nation witnessed, ladies and gentlemen, General Museveni instead used these offices to perpetuate unmitigated and unhindered terror against me, my agents, the campaign team members, my supporters, before, during, and after the presidential campaign and presidential election. See, General Museveni and all his agents slash supporters on his orders and slash all with Knowledge with his knowledge and approval committed several illegal practices and other electoral offenses. Other DCs, the resident district commissioners across Uganda, such as Darius Nandi, Nandinda of Kabale and, Nak, and Nakamiyari of Rubirizi, as well as police, police and military officers led by General Museveni's SFC guards destroyed my campaign posters and replaced them with those of General Museveni. In one video shot between 18th and 19th of November 2020, armed security operatives can be seen chasing and later shooting down a man who was running while carrying my campaign banner. That young man died. Nobody has ever been held accountable for his murder. During the election period, General Museveni and all his agents, with this knowledge and approval, bribed several former supporters of mine or members of my party 
including Jasper Hebare and Gary Godwin and so on, with money, with jobs, and with other gifts, including cars. And this was to influence him, to influence them to vote for him instead of voting for me. He also gave 300,000 to each of Uganda's 70,626 village local council committees for distribution in the villages to bribe voters. This was done countrywide. That was massive scale bribery. On more than 80% of the days I conducted campaigns, including on the 13th, the 15th, the 18th, the 19th, and the 25th of November 2020, and on the 1st and the 6th and the 10th, the 11th, the 24th, the 27th, and on the 30th of December 2020, military and police officers violently humiliated, maimed, inflicted grievous bodily harm and excruciating pain onto me, my campaign team, and my supporters. On several dates, particularly the 18th and 19th in November 2020, and on the 27th of November, during the campaign period, police and military officers murdered more than 100 people suspected of supporting me. And members of my campaign team, such as Frank Senteza Kalibara, who was deliberately knocked down and killed by a military trap. Shortly before and on voting day, police and military officers in several parts of the country arrested my agents, confiscated their appointment letters, facilitation and logistics, which frustrated my ability to efficiently monitor and supervise the election process. Probably you would have 100% of the DR phones here. This happened, for instance, on the 12th of January 2021, when my agent, Mr. Aman Aineliona, was brutally arrested, and this was on camera, from Sun City Hotel in Mira, where he had gone to, dis to distribute appointment letters for my polling day, for, for my polling day agents. And uh, he was detained at Lira Police Station for several days. On 14th January, police in Okongi District beat and arrested my supervisor, Daula Atta, as he protested the electoral malpractices by General Museveni's agents. Unfortunately, on the 5th of February 2021, the Supreme Court blocked me from amending the petition mm -hmm. to add the ground that General Museveni was actually not qualified for election as president. And later, on the 15th of February 2021, they refused to receive around 200 affidavits containing critical evidence upon which we would have based to prove our case against General Museveni and his conspirators in the Supreme Court of Uganda. In both the cited instances, the Supreme Court acted as de facto respondent in the petition <coughs> rather than the arbiter of justice when it conveniently relied on technicalities to reject our evidence without any prior objection to the evidence by General Museveni and his co-respondents, and without first according me as the petitioner an opportunity to be heard, they did that. That was unfair. In one instance, the court's registrar went as far as swearing an affidavit opposing the evidence that we intended to file. In my opinion, the court demonstrated bias against me in several incidences, sorry, in several incidents, such as when it blocked me from filing the petition on a Saturday that was started January 2021, but it allowed General Museveni to file his defense on a Saturday on 6 February 2021. Through its actions on the 5th and on the 15th of February 2021, when Chief Justice Alphonse Owini Dolo met and made material requests to General Museveni on the 5th, on the 10th, and on the 16th of February, as if to imply that the petition had already been determined in General Museveni's favor. And later during the court's uh, proceedings, that was on the 
uh, 19th of February 2021, Chief Justice Owini Doro scornfully implored me to apply Plan B if I had the if I have no confidence in the court of law, among other incidents. According, accordingly, when it became evident that the Supreme Court was not handling the petition with the dictates of justice, equity, and impartiality and fairness as required by the judicial code and, and, and uh, sorry, as uh, required by the judicial code of conduct and by the law, I was left with no option but to withdraw from the Supreme Court. <coughs> Mr. Biabakama and these six commissioners had suffocated the voice of the people of Uganda. And here was uh, the Chief Justice Alfonso Winidoro also mocking the people of Uganda. All these individuals, ladies and gentlemen, hold their offices in trust of the people of Uganda because by law they're supposed to be serving the people of Uganda. By, but they decided to betray that uh, trust and uh, decided to work for the one that appointed them, that is General Seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ugandans, today I am here to announce once again to all of you here and those watching us from afar that we are on our own. We have brought the case back to the court of the people and the people of Uganda must now sit and pass judgment in this matter. People power, 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 power. People power. I will remind you that in 1980, that is 40 years ago, General Museveni took part in an election which he, he lost miserably. He was not the second, neither was he the third. He claimed that the election had been rigged and took our people to the bush to fight and reclaim the victory. Hundreds of our people died, mothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, etc. All these people died in pursuit for a better country, for the rule of law, for real democracy. But what has Museveni done? He has betrayed the blood of our people and done many times worse than the regime that he castigated for rigging elections. Ugandans must now rise to the occasion and resist Museveni and this regime of blood. As we've been saying, our strategy is non-violent and lawful. I will say it again for clarity. Our strategy is non-violent and it is lawful. We shall not hold guns like Museveni did. Ours is going to be peaceful but very, very, very assertive. Are we power? Our philosophy also stands firm that people power is stronger than the people in power. Article 3 of our country's constitution empowers the citizens of Uganda to do all in their power to restore the constitutional order once it has been usurped, just like it has been done under the Museveni regime. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our next course of action. That is the next phase of our struggle. I want to call upon all of you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, to rise up peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. I call upon you to rise up peacefully and unarmed and demonstrate against a regime that has oppressed us. They've oppressed us, exploited us, and turned into slaves in our own country. This is a time when we must do this for ourselves, for our children, and for our children's children. I want to remind all of you that we have an opportunity to invoke Article 29 of the Constitution of Uganda, which unequivocally guarantees that the citizens of Uganda have the right to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. Article 29 of our Constitution empowers us to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed against any injustice. And that's exactly what we are calling you upon to do. I call upon all the citizens who feel oppressed, the women whose sons are missing, the Ugandans who voted, and your results were shortchanged. All the oppressed Ugandans, 
come out and peacefully demonstrate against that impunity. We invite you to march to your respectful, to your respective district offices and seek answers. Those who cannot march, demonstrate in your own way, as long as it is lawful and non-violent. I make this call to all Ugandans in the diaspora as well. I appreciate those of you that have already risen up in defense uh, of Uganda's democratic rights. I've seen quite a number of fellow Ugandans in the diaspora demonstrating peacefully. We can pick a leap, ladies and gentlemen, and do the same right here at home. We are protesting, ladies and gentlemen, for clarity. We are protesting with four demands. Number one, as we indicated that we actually won the 2021 presidential election, Museveni declared himself president. We demand that he returns the victory of the people of Uganda. If he says that he indeed won this election, there must be audits. There must be an audit to this election. It must be overseen by an independent body. Election audits have been used in other countries, including Sierra Leone, uh, Haiti, and Afghanistan. In Sierra Leone, you remember it was in 2007, in Haiti it was in 2010, and in Afghanistan it was in 2009 and 2015, mm -hmm. among others. Secondly, we demand that General Seven immediately puts an end to the abduction and kidnap of our people who are taken away from the dead. We demand that the security agencies return our people. We want those that have been abducted returned. Those that are, are being held in communicado, those that are being held in torture chambers and dungeons, we want them freed unconditionally. Those that they claim have uh, cases to answer, let them present them in competent courts. Those that are sick, we want them to take them to hospital. And those that they've murdered, we want their bodies so that we can afford them decent values. We want our people bring back our people. Number three, we demand that General Museveni releases all political prisoners with immediate effect. It is not a crime to support somebody. If it was a crime, there shouldn't have been presidential elections. But all of you remember that my entire campaign team was arrested and they are languishing in prison. Those are prisoners of conscience. We demand their immediate release. And finally, we are demanding that General Museveni immediately stops trying civilians in military courts. By law, civilians are not supposed to be tried in military courts. So we demand that those, our people who are not soldiers, are presented either in a civilian court or are released with immediate effect. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country. People power. <laughs> We now will be coming to you. We 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 Maybe that 
kuteka ekikuba ku banama ulile abawano ne babalemesa okuripotinga ebiyali kuva mu kulonda ne bagana ne banama ulile ababe bwerwe kwanga okujja okuripotinga ebiyali bigena maso kubanga ali amanyi singa bana reportinga ebiyali bigena maso bagena mu labisa eri esiyo na ebiyonga biri we bityo mayimu 7 yagena maso nokupa okululu mu ngeri etabanga uko mu Uganda kubanga ali amanyi kyali akoze Mwangu uwe chitaru ya lagira ama je ni polisi ni ba wamba ama kaza ni ba sivile waka Nete bako nao ni office za pe ze kibina cha pe cha national inter platform ni ba ziburu mula na ama je Kalimu busibe ukumara ina kukumina lumu Henga ama je ka kala jira njumuti ina wabano kwe mwurugunya Aina kubikila mwungu kaza ama je ka Mkoti ya kendo punta wabla ye na kukunyazo ka ujena mkoti Naira tuwa kula kwetu nule sawa mkulaba katu ya kato kwa msangu tu kutuwa mkoti Msangu tuwa kutuwa la mkoti Na inga kwa mse mula babakanda bange mkoti ya haga cheku mira Wajile kila ukujulizi Mkwe mungu laba wano Mkwe mwuri video zi Zaba sirikali na haba polisi Zaba maja na haba polisi Mkwati kingo bululu Video zi Zari mwa mwenye mwa mateko uwe chitalu Tuwa wale kila evidence Abida bisi, zira gani? Akachukua kivyo kulonda, wale kara gani? Abantu mitundo, elisoka, kurukumi. Tijeno msa beni ya sisi, yali bichiamu. Ah, mubikumi ne bikumi, ya polling station, uba walunde wa, bari, kala zinji abantu, chikumi kuchikumi, uba bwe wandi sabo basi ne walunda. Na yeye ingawa inzema nyonyola, yubitundo vingi nyonyo. Abantu wa wasinga baari wafa Ira, nete certificate Nyo wa certificate Sikaka soko fa kwa we Amwezidi Awantu wa wamu Awe winyi sa Ye wape gomba Uchaloche uwe Uchepa itaro wa weba Uchepi wina abe nganda za Awe wanji si zao Na inga tebalo nda Wanga wamu baari wano nyeze wanga watu se Wamu baari wako atitua Ata wamu baari na ebuto Mkulu Wata soko la kubera uwe Na ye Mami biya baka ma jena jena gamba ya wandu kwa nanga bwewe wandi sa baro mga. Tu ina obujuli ziri, omuli zi death certificate. Zira ganti ya babantu kuzono, ali register di ngomu lonzi. Na ye ya pa ngevulu mwa kakumu, akadu kabeo. Nenga mami biya baka makulaga na ye ya jena ronda. Nevi dale ipana na webiki. Obujuli zibunji ngabwe mbola ba wano basebo ni wanyabo, ekoti, ensukulumu, ya buka ana. Na yate ngo obujuli zi. Uwe chika uwe chitu, ikoti ya nsukurumu ya bukiri zanga, misango java nkwa balala, yevaro uka, mkume pili mkumu, pili mkaka, nimu pili, kume na mkaka. So, evyo, wewewe labo evityo, kwa sala uo, watumazo kulaba, ikoti ya nsukurumu, nisa bala nuzi owinyi dolo, ainache kubira, atenga alia sinkana jeno mseven, mulu watu, elabu tekeze wanti, wali wa sinkana, nimu chama, Kwa laba katake na kwa ba na yuko na mukanya, kuhujayo misango. Nuba njema lwa manu biaba kama na kachikoke, kaba ndo mukamba. Kama mzee, uli ni lila, ndo busi biaba na yuko na, ni masikula na kumi na njia chanya. No nuba njema wako chini sukuru mje tuai subira mu kwenkanya, uka kasa ntege na kwa ba na yuko na kwenkanya. Tuwa sa zeyo, bige misango. Eru na kuluwa eru basi mu niba nyabo, mubutongo le. Jagala okuropa umusango oku eri mwena bana Uganda. Iranga jagalo patekeza kimwe mwina obuyinza okwera mola kusonge eno. Kitandika lero sero. Sema teka. Wa Uganda amawa obuyinza mukawayi namba abiri mwenda. Okwe kalakasa mu dembe ate mwina bisi. Mchitam Constitution ya Uganda sema teka mukawa ilo namba bi muenda eba wa edembe ukwe kala kasa mudembe na muino ukwe murugunya nolo ensonge ba sema neba nyabo eri muenda ababa deba muzi tichi tichi dako ulubani malo kuita mitenda ya jana jana ngo tuwa denga tuwa tegeza Ero ulubani malo pa tegeza ngo ulubani malo ali no kugerwa no kolewa. Bana yuganda mwe mugendo kola kukusala huo kusemba yu. 
Jagalu kutuwa lukisa kuno okubako wola Mwena banda Uganda jemuli Habali wano uno kweto lude nsiyo na Okusitu kiramu Mudembe Katemuina wisi Mwekala kase Mwekala kase Mwekala kase Mwekala kase Mudembe Mwekala kase 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 Mwekala Kiri so tuwanja wangu ziwafe wanga tuwa wangula tuwalaze tuwa nyuma lukuna go the declaration forms entono endala nkabazi wambie era ze taina ni tuko isa isi za mwambia bakama ni wangu bade zari mokuluku nebiru mila ninji chila giwa lunye sinzi laku declaration forms ze tui na wanu tuwa kaluru wako waka wangu lida kubitundu wa ana kubitundu wa tano mubi na Nobu tundu tundu kumina mwenda Tengaji wali wakuba Mboli yao kwandu wangu lide mchinana No msobo So nolu insongeyo Tuba kunga Anayu kanda wanafe Mwena jemuli Kukusitu kama wekala kase mwendembe Nga mwaba anja wangu Nisongeyo kubi Wanga lukwe kala kase Lupa ita mwena wekala kase mwendembe Nga mwaba anja Abantu wafe Abazeba wambibwa Kaba wambibwa mzidroni Nemu moto kendala Kira chino chiba de chikole wanga Uweragiru ya mwami musebe Kwa gala Ama je Polisi nebitongo lebiko madembe Kiko mieo abantu wafe Obaba la muu Obaba fu Abo abalamu Abawa wambibwa Kati abambali miezi Abala la wiki Abala naku Kwa gala Bako mezewe uo Abachari abalamu Kwa gala baba tuwe imbagi dao Kwa gala baba inako Nimisango Kabalete mkoti Ezikirizi wa mateka Abalwate Baba tuwe Kwa gala 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 tuwe Abachala bambi waka bantu bawe Abana bivatu teko bachita wene banyawe Nabazade abambi waka bana bawe Kwa gala kukuwa saba Mustukiremu wanga yemwe ansa Nsonga Kiyo kusatu Kwa gala Kukubanja Abasibe bonda bonda Abasibu wanga tibaina musangu Kwa gula wanga abasibu wa Uluwe nsonga Uluwe viruzo biyawe Prisoners of conscience Aba political prisoners Kuna tu wakala kubanga simu sangu Omuto kuwa kilo omuto omu Na reka omuto omu lala Mena mjukira ki campaign team ya feyo na yuna Ya wambi wa Nibaba kuwata nibaba tulugunya Mungambi ya manje kasajia kilwa Nibaba kula kebi kolo vero vinji nyo Nibaba la nibaba tuwala mkote ya manje Nibaba siva Kuwa kala baba tu dize mbakira u Semba yu Kuwa kala ukubanja mwami musebeni Alikila wu ukuwa taba na Uganda Abataliba na maje Nibaba tuwala mkoti eza maje Amateka ga Uganda Gajite kanunye Abantu abataliba sirikali Nibaina kuwozi sewa mkoti Daba sirikali So nesu ongezo Kwa angalo pako ula mwenava Sebu nebanya wa na Uganda wanafe Abali wanu ni Uganda Na abali okweto ule nsiyo na Mustukiremu, mudembe Kubanga chikilizi wa mateka Constitution nebawe dembe liyo Mwekala kase mtembe Mwanga wanache marira Paulira dobozi ya bantu Mweva lenyo Mweva lenyo Mweva lenyo Mweva lenyo People power Our power Our power People power People power Our power Our power People power Ata kuhunga luwete Tuliambare mwe Tuliambare mwe Tuliambare mwe Please be seated.
journalists look like they are contented, they don't have any questions. And now they hand you that. Okay, very quick, um, um, I need to before we take your questions. Uh, so, we have showed you the DR forms, the declaration of the guys' forms that we have over 25,000 of them. And um, as our president has told you, uh, 7,000 are still in police custody and 2,000. We were denied the ability to get them. But, uh, we got ours and then we were able to make do with uh, those of the EC, even though we had so many challenges. And we did a tabulation, which gave us a total of 54.19% of the Chinese And uh, right after here, because we now have soft copies of this declaration of results forms, we are going to upload them on our website. That's www.nupuganda.org. Uh, that's www.nupuganda.org. Uh, there are so many, we can't have them on Facebook or Twitter, mm -hmm. so much, but uh, we can be able to upload them on our website. Of course, uh, Mr. Tipo Habura and um, his operatives are very notorious uh, for trying to destabilize us. That's why they shut down the internet, social media, this mm -hmm. is now. We hope that uh, they will not mess up with our website. Um, we want them to be able to challenge what we are going to put up on our website. So we are hoping they will not tamper with our website as we upload all these DR forms for Ugandans to be able to see how the election did transpire. And uh, this 54.19% we are saying was even as a result of all the ballot staffing and all the other challenges that did happen. This is what we have as is. Our president was Wawa Gambie, we had the RFOM, and 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 we had the RFOM,